What is the purpose of this project and what are we trying to achieve? First, we need to find the forces acting on the system. The force of gravity acting on the block B is mg, and the force of friction acting on the trolley is mu mg. The tension in the string is t. Now, we can write the equations of motion for the trolley and the block. For the trolley, m equal to t minus mu mg for the block, mg minus t equal to m. And now, we can solve these equations for the acceleration r. Adding the two equations, we get m plus m equal to mg minus mu mg, m plus m equal to mg minus mu mg. Now, we can solve for r equal to mg minus mu mg divided by m plus m so the acceleration of the trolley is equal to mg minus mu mg divided by m plus mb. To find the speed v of the trolley when the block falls through a height of h we can use the equation v2 equal to u2 plus 2 as since the trolley starts from rest u equal to 0. The distance s travelled by the trolley is the same as the height h fallen by the block. So we have v2 equal to 2 is substituting the expression for a from part of. We get v2 equal to 2 mg minus mu mg divided by m plus mh. So the speed of the trolley is v equal to square root 2 mg minus mu mg divided by m plus mh. C. The loss in potential energy of the block when it has moved on a height of h is given by delta u equal to mgh. So the loss in potential energy is delta u equal to mgh. D. The kinetic energy of the trolley and block when the block has moved on a height of h is given by k equal to 1 divided by 2 mv2 plus 1 divided by 2 mv2 substituting the expression for v2 from part b we get k equal to 1 divided by 2 m2 ng minus mu mg divided by m plus mh plus 1 divided by 2 m2 ng minus mu mg divided by m plus mh simplifying we get k equal to m mg minus mu mg divided by m plus mh plus m mg minus mu mg divided by m plus mh so the kinetic energy of the trolley and block is k equal to percent s divided by percent s mg minus mu